Welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here in NHL 16. This is episode 28 of the series, and in today's episode, we will be taking on the Edmonton Oilers in Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals. We are currently down three games to two, as in Game 1, we won by a score of 2-1. to one. Game 2, the Oilers won 4-2 to two to even the series up at 1, and then they won Games 3 and 4 back-to-back -back by a score of 2 nothing, and then 4-3. to three. They take a 3-1 series lead. Game 5 is won in... Uh, versus Edmonton by a score of 5-3 to three to, uh, to make it a 3-2 series and force the game 6. And now it is game 6 in Edmonton, and the Avalanche need to win this game in order to, face, in order to force a game 7 at home in Colorado. And we are here in Edmonton, Alberta, home of the Edmonton Oilers here at the Rexall Place as the Avalanche are facing elimination. They need to win this game in order to, fa in order to force a game seven at home. And ben Scribbins is getting the nod in between the pipes for the Oilers, while Malcolm Subban, Sub-Zero, is getting the nod for the Avalanche in net. As we will start things off here, early first period, a rush from the Oilers as they dump it into the Avalanche's zone. Into the corner it goes, picked up at the D, slap shot, saved by Subban, rebound saved by Subban, picked up behind the net, another rebound try, also saved, pass to the Landeskog, he's got himself a breakaway, one-on-one -on -one with Scrivens, can't get it past him, big save by Ben Scrivens. So less than 10 minutes left now in the first period, here come the Avalanche, cross-crease shot, scores! The Colorado Avalanche strike first, Alesh Hemsky on a feed from Troy Bork, also assisted by Brandon Gormley, as it's a 1-0 Avalanche lead, 7.40 left in the first now, here come the Oilers. Slap shot, top shelf, there it goes, tied at one, here we are, in Edmonton, 1-1 one, one score, 7.25 left in the first, Teddy Purcell, assisted by Moros. So it's a 1-1 one, one hockey game, 4.20 left now in the first. Big hit, turned over in their own end, Avalanche pick it up, cross crease shot, rebound attempt, shot, all saved by Scrivens. So now less than two minutes left, shot blocked out in front, picked up by the Oilers. Purcell picks it up, passes it up to Yakupov. Passes over, shot, snipe, stop shelf. Edmonton takes a 2-1 to one lead here in the late in the first period. On the goal by Mitch Moros, assisted by Yakimov and Purcell, as it's going to be a 2-1 two -two Edmonton lead at the end of one period. Pick things back up in the second period now. 14.30 left in the second. Here's a rush from the Avalanche. Cross-crease attempt, shot, backhand, huge save by Scrivens. And that would be all that would happen in this period, just a lot of big saves by Scrivens. 2-1 to one still, third period now. Shot, another save by Scrivens. Nothing going for the Avalanche. Here comes Duchesne, one on two. Puts on a move, takes a shot, saved by Scrivens. Picks it back up in the corner, skates back to the blue line. Passes over to his D, Gormley. Passes down low. Bodker skates in, cross crease. Duchesne shot, saved by Scrivens. Nothing going for the Avalanche in the third period as the final score in this game is 2-1 to one Edmonton as they come out on top. Four games to two, or four, four, yes, four games to two in this series as they win the Western Conference Finals. They are your Western Conference champions as they will be moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Colorado Avalanche GM Mode. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying... Goodbye.